Hey there, professor, look what I brought. Now tell me what's my rock. Okay, today uh, we have a visitor from San Bernardino. Her name is Maribel. She brought us a big rock that's so big that it indented their little cart. <laughs> it's really big. We found it in their yard, and we're going to try to identify what it is. Hey, how you doing? All right, good to see you. What's your name? Oscar. Oscar, okay, Oscar. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Um, Maribel, thank you. So um, this is a big rock. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very heavy. Um, where did you find it? Where did I find it? Um, well, it was um, in back of my jar where uh -huh. I live. So uh -huh. yeah. Okay. It, it was the back of your your yard. My yard, yes. So you you dug it up. Uh, well, me and my um, friend Gloria. Uh huh. Uh huh. We both did it. Okay. So. And we put a magnet in it. So. So what what were you doing when you found it? You're just sort of doing yard work and. Um. Yeah. We were okay. just cleaning the yard and then um, uh, we put a mag um magnet in it and okay. then. It sticks, so we started going through it, you know. And where where do you guys where do you live? What town? Uh, we live in San Bernardino. San Bern you live in San Bernardino, mm -hmm. and you found this rock. Okay. Um, all right, and that's heavy. How did you guys How did you guys lift it up here? Oh my goodness, that's so big. With someone else. <laughs> oh, with someone else. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me let me just have a look down here. Um, uh, this is a bit. It's definitely a darker rock than I would expect. Um, it's darker. This is darker than. So a, a little bit darker. Usually, the rocks in San Bernardino tend to be um, tend to be um, uh, more of a light color too. They're not all of them, but mo okay. most of them. They come out of those mountains up there, right? Um, my question is: Is this a natural rock or not? Um, it's hard to say. Uh, how heavy is this thing? You know what I'm going to do? I think I think we're going to we're going to do geology right here in this parking lot. Um, we don't we don't need to move this thing anywhere. Oh, this is what you're saying. You put it on this thing and it it bent. Yeah. It bent it. Oh, okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some tools and okay. some special some fancy instruments, uh, and I'm going to bring them out here. We're going to run some analyses. Okay. Um, and I need to get my hand lens, and I, I need to have a hand lens. So what do you think it is? I don't know. I'm not sure. You don't know what it is? What do you think it is? Come on, you have an idea. Um, Probably a meteorite. You think it's a meteorite? Okay. Probably. Because right. it sticks to a magnet and then... Okay. Well, I mean, there are a lot of rocks that, that are magnetic, so um, that alone is not um, a magnet. I mean, your car is magnetic, right? So oh, there's a sure. lot of things in the but world. But it has there's iron. Of, it does have iron. There's yeah. a lot of... There are a lot of rocks that are, that are magnetic that are not meteorites. So... Um, and it's very, very heavy, right? Yeah. Okay. Say about 200 pounds. 200 pounds? No more. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me go get my stuff and I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to run some tests on this. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's a little unusual for San Bernardino to see this kind of rock. It's sort of like this almost featureless gray rock that doesn't really have very much stuff. So um, it kind of reminds me of a carbonate rock, which is a, a limestone. Maybe you've ever heard of the word limestone before? No. Okay. All right. So it kind of reminds me of that. I'm not quite sure. So what I'm going to do first, um, with your permission, I'm going to knock a little bit of it off. Okay. okay. If I can, it's really a hard rock. Where am I going to knock it off? Um, oof. Okay. This is really hard. So I'm not knocking anything off of this. Um, I can tell already. So I'm going to say I don't think this is a, uh, a limestone like I said earlier. This is a uh, magnet. Like you said, it's magnetic, right? So mm -hmm. I'm going to put this magnet right there, and I can see that this magnet is staying right there. So it's definitely magnetic, just as you said. Okay, so we know it's magnetic. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to scratch it. So I'm going to scratch it with this okay. file. Uh, I'm able to make marks on it, but I'm not really scratching it, so to speak. Well, that's a scratch right there. Okay, I'm able to make a little scratching. Okay, so I'm able to scratch it with this file. So that gives me a little information about what we call hardness of this material. Um, let's see. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a just a look with my hand lens. Okay, okay. so this is a little microscope. It's going to... It's going to be hard to look at it because it's, usually I put it up to my face, but I can't pick this up. So I'm just going to go like this. Okay. 
I'm looking to see if there's any features in here, like any little crystals of any kind. All right, so with my hand lens, I'm, I can't see anything like little crystals or anything in there. You know, I'm, I realize what I'm going to try to do. I'm starting to think it's a big chunk of metal, um, mm -hmm. which is what you'd expect for an iron meteorite. It's probably pure iron, but I'm going to I'm going to check for a second here. I'm going to see if I can file. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if I file it away, if it looks like it's made out of metal. OK. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to use my hand lens again. I'm going to see if it looks metallic. And it, it does actually. It looks like it's um, made out of metal. Um, the, the trick is, is if this rock came from space and it's made of metal, it would be what we call an iron meteorite. Okay. Iron meteorites have iron, but they also have another element called nickel. You heard, you've heard of nickel before, right? So, um, so iron and nickel will be mixed together in a natural iron meteorite. Um, it's very common though for people in the high desert and in our area um, to find big chunks of just plain iron okay. because there's steel everywhere um, and people make, um, they make um, all kinds of things out of iron, of course, right? So what, we're, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this instrument. This is called an, uh, an X-ray fluorescence spectrometer. And what it does, it's gonna send out an X-ray it's not going to hit you. It's just going to go straight on the rock, so you're safe. <laughs> um, it's going to hit this, and it's going to tell me what elements are in here. It's going to okay. tell me, do I have iron? Do I have nickel? Do I have anything else that could be in here? Like, you know, chrome, right? Like right. chrome on a bumper. That's an element that includes elements iron. It includes chromium, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this here. And I'll tell you what I find. Okay, it's filled with iron, a little bit of manganese, and almost no nickel. Hmm. Is that a rare stone or is it very common? Is it what? Rare. Is it rare? Um, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's common to have a big chunk of iron in, a, in someone's backyard. Where did it come from? Anybody's guess. It could be an old construction site. It says it has a lot of calcium in it too. Interesting. That's weird. Oh, you know what? I might just be on a spot that has calcium. What I should do is do a different spot. Let me try a different spot. I'm gonna try the spot that I made. I'm gonna clean a spot off. Okay, I'm gonna get all the gook off. The reason I'm cleaning it is I wanna make sure that I'm just getting the material under the surface. There's no telling what kind of weird dirt is on here, right? So, yeah, it's definitely looking like iron metal. This could have been, I don't know, maybe it was a, an old steel beam. Can you see what I'm doing over here? See how it's kind of getting nice and shiny? I don't know if you can tell that, so I'm just kind of... All right, now I'm going to do this again, and I'm hoping that all I'm going to find is... Okay, a lot of iron, a little bit of manganese. That's normal to see that with iron. There's still a lot of calcium in here, which is really weird. Okay, so what I'm getting is that it is mostly iron with a little bit of calcium in it. Now, I think that's a little weird to have iron and calcium together in the same rock, but um, it, there's no nickel in there. So that's the most important thing because you want to know if you have a meteorite, but I don't find there's no, there's almost zero nickel in this thing. I need to see like 10% nickel for me to think that you found an iron meteorite. Now what this is, I have no idea. Um, it could be that um, somebody, there could be a reaction, um, some industrial process where they used um, what we call lime um, and to make steel somehow. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'll have to go look this up in a book. I'm going to ask around to find out what this is. I don't know. Um, uh, but, um, um, but I'm, I'm sorry that I can't tell you, you have an iron meteorite. So I don't think it's a particularly valuable rock. It might be because it's something that I don't know what it is. Um, but as a, no, I know the element it's calcium. I know that the element's there, but I don't, um, I don't, it, it, there's no, I am not aware of any meteorite that is made of, of 
two thirds iron and one third calcium. So I think this is probably some sort of industrial product, something from a cement plant or some, I don't know, something like that. I, I, it could be, it could be there's concrete in there. Concrete has a lot of calcium. Um, I'd have to look at it under a microscope, but at this point, I don't think it's worth it be, in terms of, of determining if you have something um, that's, a, that's from space. I don't think it's from space, okay? All right. All right. Um, all right. Well, thanks to Maribel and Oscar for coming out today. Uh, they have a very big rock. It's a very strange thing to find in your yard, a big giant chunk of metal. I have no idea what the calcium is for. I'm going to go ask around and see what it is. Um, but uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for all right. Name. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that uh, you guys aren't going to be rich on this rock. So, but uh, maybe next time. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks for that. Uh, well, Dylan, what did you think about that one? Uh, first initial reactions to the rock was that it wasn't something I was familiar with. When you said um, like some sort of carbonate, that made a little bit of sense. Analysis, you're throwing out iron and calcium. I was thinking this is a basalt, but I've never seen a basalt like that before. So yeah, this is a what percentage is where the calcium at? The, um, it was about two thirds iron, one third calcium. Oh god, yeah, that would not be a basalt. So to put acid on it. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think but it. It was very metallic. I yeah. Like when I ground into it, it was it was uh, very shiny and metallic, as you'd expect yeah. from, from its density. And you were working pretty hard on like trying to get that like filing that stuff down yeah. too. When I hit it with a rock hammer, I saw a spark immediately and I, the, the way that it tinged, I was like, this is metal no. mm -hmm. and there's no use in trying to get a chip of it. So. So. But it was was weird. There was a lot of calcium. Now it could be that the XRF machine was misidentifying calcium. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen though. Yeah. But, um, you know, it, it, it's very unusual to have metal with a bunch of calcium. And so the, the most straightforward answer is that it was iron metal um, with some calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide uh, mm -hmm. mixed in there. Like maybe they're, I don't know what they're doing. You ever heard of this? I've never heard of that. That being said, like, I know that they do some like additives when smelting to like lower the temperature. So, you know, I don't know smelting chemistry though. So that could be the closest bet. Maybe it was somebody's bad smelting experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Try to put a bunch of limestone on this. See what happens. <laughs> or maybe it was an impure iron ore. Maybe it was like an iron rich carbonate or something. Yeah. Or carbonated iron ore. Or carbonated iron ore. Yeah. It won't. It's, it's a mystery. <laughs> it wasn't from space. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Goodness. But they were very nice people. Mm -hmm. Next yeah. time, I'm going to make sure that they, uh, I'm going to ask them, is your rock really heavy? And if they say yes, I'm going to say, do not take it out of your car. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I've seen it all. That's why they call me a professional. I know you're proud of what you got, but this rock ain't worth dilly squad. I'm not saying that you'll never be wealthy, but this preoccupation doesn't seem healthy. Don't give up your day job. You better keep it a hobby on the weekend.